Wayne Knight. Years ago, I was lucky enough to be part of a film uh, that we're celebrating today, uh, Disney's Tarzan. The directors of this film, Chris Buck and Kevin Lima. Where do we go, here? That'll do. Animated Why do it version. as an animated film? Right. Do it. it's, been, it's been told so many times, what could we do that would bring something new? Right. right? So to begin with... We went on a, a little field trip to, to Africa. That's where we found out about red elephants. So there are red elephants. Yes, there, there are red elephants. Are. And the reason is it's because it's the, it's the color of the clay and the dirt in this certain area. I grew up in Georgia where there's red clay. If only I just rolled in the clay, I would have understood. <laughs> we went to Sweetwater Chimpanzee Sanctuary while we were there. And we met a young boy who was actually, I think he was about five, four or five. Yeah, he was young. And he was growing up with chimpanzees as his siblings. Wow. And it became a huge influence on how we, how we handled Tarzan as a young boy. And uh, now do we also have the second section of your journey? You have another section, yeah. So that was the, the mountain gorillas. So you're hiking through and you finally come upon them. And we ended up with the moms and the babies on one side and the silverback on the other side. And oh. us in the middle. Oh, great. <laughs> and they warned us, do not look at the silverback. Do not, whatever you do, put your head down when he walks by. And pretend and you're eating by, and all that and stuff. And I just stared at him and I thought, ah! if this is how I die, this is all right with me. It really doesn't do justice to sitting there with them. Oh man. It's, it's, a, it's just an amazing, life-changing experience. Yeah. I think we tried to bring that experience to the movie. Well, you did see that they're eating their bamboo and they eat a lot of bamboo and they eat a lot of roughage. So we get there <laughs> and we're in the middle of them and we start hearing the sound, we started hearing the Constant. <laughs> it went on, it was like a chorus because they were all farting at the same time. <laughs> Much as we loved it, we didn't put it in the movie, but <laughs> did want to share that. In our film, the silverback was female and uh, she is the producer of Tarzan. <laughs> Bonnie Arnold. <laughs> What really kind of hooked me in completely was the fact that I really knew that I would be an equal partner with them. We have a little piece of you actually recording one of the lines. Wayne Knight as Tantor, sequence 22, TP 1939, take one. We didn't even get to say goodbye. Aww. <laughs> uh, before we move on, can I put one rumor to rest that is my fault? What did you say? <laughs> and that... Tarzan's parents are not Elsa and Anna's parents. <laughs> and two of the great animators that you cast uh, to make those characters are Ken Duncan and Bruce Smith. In the crowd. All right. <laughs> One of the hallmarks of this picture is the advent of a new technique of demonstrating movement within a, a 2D film that had never been done before. And who led the team on that is Eric Daniels. Did you create this software? I created the roadmap that the programmers would follow, and then I helped hire they, the team. They did the application based on what you needed. Right, based on, I, I, yeah. There is a star in your midst, a star of glee, well, his name is Matthew Morrison, by the way. Can your friends go boom? Now look here. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. 